the coupon collection. There are n types of coupons in a cereal box, where each type of coupon is equally as likely to appear in a cereal box. So part A, if a child wants to collect all n coupons, on average how many coupons boxes will he have to collect? In part B, if the child has collected some number of boxes or some number of coupons, how, what is the expected number of coupon types? So for part A, so for part, so, uh, so for part, so for part A, let's look at the, each coupon individually. So basically, for example, if we already collected I distinct coupons, then we will need to collect N minus I more distinct coupons. So the next coupon has the probability N minus I over N of being distinct from the previous I coupons. And if we use the variable X of I to denote this relationship, then the sum of, then the number of coupons to collect all N coupons is just X1 plus X2 all the way to Xn. And since each X of I has an N minus I over N probability of being distinct from the previous coupons, then it has a geometric distribution with average value N over N minus I. And 